today we're going to be going over how to do a uh, brake inspection. I've already taken off the wheel. The first thing you want to do is um, chop your vehicles. Uh, make sure that your brake chamber is either released or it's caged. So you can take off. What you going to do now? If you don't cage or release the brake chamber, these shoes will apply onto the drum so that you won't be able to take it off. As for your drum itself, what you're trying to look for is, if you look inside here, you can see the grooves and cracks that are developing. This is from um, heat. So that itself would make, if the grooves are more than two inches, that would make them unserviceable. To measure these, the diameter of themselves, you'd need a cali uh, caliper and measure the distance between the two through the center. On the drum themselves, they should have um, specs of what the minimum and max is. And Sometimes they're on the outside of the drum itself. But sometimes they can also be, depending on manufacturer. You know, one thing I did forget though. Next, you want to check your brake shoes and check the thickness for it. And you would have to check your vehicle check service to see um, what the specs are. You'd also want to look at your oh, so you springs. You see if they're straight and not bent or cracked or broken. That it's like on the uh, <laughs> S cams. It's like 0.5 Make sure under under a half that your wheel stays are not leaking as well. That would also cause the um, your brake um, shoes to soak in the oil so that it won't catch. Depends also on the size of the rim. Yeah. It also yeah. depends on how close. You also want to check your, your slack. Give me a favor. See if it's in uh, correct, uh, correct angle. Inspect your lines. See that they're not leaking towards the brake chamber themselves. You'd also want to measure your brake chamber push rod to see what the travel distance is and make sure that's um, within spec to one and um, three-fourth. That's how you do a uh, brake inspection. 